Hello everyone, welcome! Gakumus here, and this this is not a game, this is my desktop. Uh, excuse the mess of random games scattered around the desktop. <laughs> um, yeah, anyway, uh, the reason why I'm doing this video, it is a uh, kind of a how-to, because uh, I've had a few people asking me how to install uh, the Yogbox, how to install the Tech It Pack, and all that crap, and I thought, well, it's fairly simple. But I'm going to show you anyway, I'm going to show you how to make a server and all that crap. Just ignore everything that is on my desktop. Hopefully there's no porn there. Definitely not. Okay, good. Um, if there is, ignore it. Right. <laughs> so the first thing you want to do is get your way over, make your way over to this website, which is uh, te technic, yeah, technicpack.net or www.technicpack.net. Uh, there'll be a link in the description below. Um... As I, as I came onto this website just a minute ago, I realised that they've added a new mod pack to it, the uh, voxel mod pack, which is cool. Uh, I've not even, I don't even know what it is. I don't even know what mods are in it. But yeah, that's cool. They've got a new mod pack. Uh, you can probably just click on it and it'll take you to a link to it. Uh, anyway, while you're here, what you need to do is down the left hand side, you need to go to launcher and either download the exe, the jar or the osx. Uh, the exe and the jar do exactly the same thing. And I can only assume the osx is for Max. I don't know. <laughs> I I have a PC. Yes. Um. So yeah, once you downloaded them, they will appear like this. Um. It's just. Yeah. Yeah. That just looks like a Mac thing. So there's only one thing to say to that. Goodbye. You are the weakest link. Um. Yeah. So these two things do exactly the same. Um. I have heard of a lot of pro lot of people having problems trying to load them, Edney included, and it just wouldn't load, it just went, uh, what are you doing, I don't want to load. Uh, so, the best suggestion I can give you is to make sure you have the latest version of Java. Uh, they even have, up the top, above the launcher, the links to the uh, versions of Java. So just make sure you've got the latest version, I think, uh, if you're going, just going on the automatic uh, update of thing that they have down here, I don't know where it is, Ooh. Uh, it, it, it just gives you version 6, uh, but this link here, I believe, is for version 7. So, go download version 7, it's still in beta, I believe, I don't know, but it still works pretty well. Um, what's it doing? Yeah. So, yeah, just use your preference. I like the EXE because it has a little picture and everything. Um, yeah, so, open it up. It will check, make sure you've got the latest version. Uh, obviously, I do, or I wouldn't be doing this. And then you click on this little link thing here, and it will show you all of the mod packs that are in it. You've got the uh, tech it, uh, Technic, the Tech Kit, the Yog Box, the Voxel Box, uh, Voxel Box? No, it's just all the Voxel Mod Pack, Urgh! and the Vanilla. Um, so you choose what one you want. Uh, obviously, I'm going to go for Tech It this time, and it's like, okay, cool. Um, and then you've got to type in your username and password. Right, so you may think, well, hold on a minute. This isn't Minecraft. Why am I typing in my my Minecraft username and password? Won't someone steal it and use it against me and make my account look bad? No, I hope not, because <laughs> obviously I've typed in my username and my password. Um, I believe the re the only reason they've made they've they've made it so you have to do this. Probably the most important thing is so you can only do it if you have a full account, a premium account. Um, because if you didn't have a premium account, anyone could just play it and it would be pointless to defeat the whole fucking object of the game really and as I've logged in you can see my character just hanging out here he's just like yo sup bro uh, he's not doing that at all but <laughs> yes I do I'm talking way too fast my throat is starting to hurt uh what was I gonna say yeah there is a few problems with this uh I'll show you hopefully with the voxel pack so you I haven't, I haven't obviously haven't installed this one yet so you type in username type in your password click login as you can see, it connects to Minecraft.net, so it's downloading the official Minecraft jar from Minecraft.net. So I'm assuming that's what you're logging into. I don't know. Um, oh, it didn't didn't fail. Uh, okay. So it looks like now it's downgrading. So it does everything for you. Click on login. It does everything for you. However, this is the problem I encounter far too much. It has stopped, which means it's more than likely going to fail the download. And I'll have to start it again. I've come, I, I came up with a, well, I came up with a way to get around this, and that's just keep trying, just keep downloading, 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 it'll get a little bit further, and if it finally does a patch, a mod, and it doesn't have to keep doing it. So, yes, yeah, so download failed. <laughs> but Edney had this problem all the time, and I was just like, well, 
I don't know, look on the look on the forums, which you can just click here and it take you directly to the forums. So it turns out it's possibly a problem with AVG. Uh, obviously, I'm I don't care. I just keep clicking on it and keep downloading it again and again and again. Uh, so we just click like that and then click like that and log in. It should, in theory, skip right to just skip through this really quickly. Or crash again. Oh, okay, brilliant. Uh, but yeah, I'm assuming they've all got permission to use the down downgraded jars and stuff like that. And all that crap, yeah. But um, something that I found quite funny... Oh, it's not there anymore. Uh, the ads have changed. But obviously, AVG seems to be the biggest problem. And they even say, I think, in this post here, you know, Norton and AVG very commonly block things for no reason. And they actually had an ad down the side, which was AVG, which I found fucking hilarious. And, ooh, Dark Striders 2 is coming out soon. Anyway, getting distracted. Uh, yeah, so uh, that, that's definitely not going to download. But that's not the one I want to look at. Uh, the one we want to do is the Tech It Pack, uh, or the Yog Pack, but the Tech It one's the multiplayer one, so just click on Login, and it will close this one down and open up a completely separate client. Now, you may be thinking, oh crap, I didn't back up my worlds! Don't worry about it. It has basically created a completely separate thing, and even dark, put some Russian writing on the screen. So I'm just going to maximise this. Uh, so you just, yeah, these are all my test worlds, so I just fuck around on let's just create a new one so just load it up wait for it to load it's going to take a lot longer than the normal minecraft to load because obviously it's um oh that's really loud uh it's got loads of mods in it i'm gonna to have to turn that off okay so that that that's that's one of the most annoying mods on it it's like atmos and it just makes a lot of sounds but yeah so whenever i loaded up the game Let's just check, check the sound settings. Maximum, yep. Yep, okay, cool. Done. Done. Oh. Where the hell's the sound then? Is my speakers up? Yeah, my speakers are definitely up, so I could just hear the fucking wind howling. So there's definitely no sounds. Whatsoever. So I was like, right. What the hell? So I quit it. Don't know why I did it like that. And I opened up the file it's in. So to do that, it's, it's in... The roaming file, which is really annoying to get to, just percentage sign, app data, and then another percentage sign, and open it up. So I went to the ticket launcher thing, and went to ticket. So I opened up the resource, actually, I did this in a new new window. So I opened it up, and I was like, oh, is that all the sounds that are there? Well, that's not a lot at all. So, clever old me decided, well, I'll just check what sounds are in are in this one. Uh, oh, that seems like quite a lot. Why don't I just copy and paste all of them into here? Uh, do I want to? I want to merge them. Yes, merge them all. And wait for it to do. Yep. Yeah, uh, uh, whatever. Skip. Skip. Fuck it. Skip them all. Okay. So now we've done that, let's just minimize everything. Let's open it back up. I'm hoping this is going to have worked, uh, because if it hasn't, then I'm going to look like an idiot, because I completely forgot to test whether this is how I did it. But yes. And it's crashed. No, don't crash! Don't crash on me! <laughs> there we go. Uh, I am going to have to turn the sound down. Oh look, you can hear already. That the sounds are working. Yeah, this is the sound I recorded at. Leave it alone. So, let's go back onto my survival world. That loaded really quick. Oh! We have sound! How did that happen? Yes, so for some reason, uh, it just doesn't copy along the sound files. Uh, let's just create a bit of this. And I believe it happens for uh, all of them. Now, this is the normal Minecraft one. So let's just check on God damn it. the yog box. Yep, it's, it's only got modded sounds and stuff like that. It doesn't seem to have them all. Which is kind of annoying, but that's how you fix it, guys. That's how you fix not having sound in it. I mean, I've not actually ever seen anyone on the forum saying, I've got no normal sounds! What the hell? Blah, 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 Q, Q, Q. Um, Of course, they're not saying that. There's probably a fix for it somewhere on the FAQs or something, but I have, couldn't be fucked to check because I'm too damn lazy. So anyway, yep, yeah, you've got your you've got your client all up and running. Now you need the multiplayer client. 
So you click on Take It 2.1.1, uh, which is along the top black bar. You scroll down and, oh, server. Click here. Click here and it downloads this conveniently packaged uh, zip file. Um, there doesn't seem to be... Is there a Mac version? I don't know. Maybe it's the same version. Who knows? Um, so yeah, it, it gives you basically all the files you need to run the server. Already packaged for you and everything is lovely. So well, you don't really want to run it from here. You can't physically run it from here because this is a zipped file. So you need to extract it. I, I create a nice and simple folder called server. Copy and paste it all into here. Then click on the launch button. The first time you do it, it's going to take a very long time because it's got to load all of the worlds, like uh, the vanilla world, the never, and the AFAR. Not AFAR? What? What the hell? I haven't played that more than ages. That's not the world I meant. <laughs> the end. So it'll load all three of them, and that's that. Uh, don't forget to type op and then your uh, character's name to, type, to make yourself an op. Or you can look for the op list and type your name in there and save it uh doesn't really matter you just need to do it before you go on the server or you're not going to be an op and that would be pointless so let's just open the game back up make sure make sure my server has loaded uh obviously i've already created the world just so it didn't take longer you wait for it to load get bored while loading ramble on a little bit ask people if they've completed mass effect 3 yet and uh what do you think of it let me know down down below, because I have a lot of unanswered questions about the ending. Uh, so yeah, so you, you go to your server, uh, you, you can either add the server, type in the name and the address. I don't have to, I've already added it. Oh, were you hoping you'd be able to see my IP address? What a shame. Yeah, if you've got the, a little hint, if you've got the server running on your own computer, you could just type the IP as localhost. Localhost basically means that it's on the computer, and you could just double click to connect. And then, voila, let's turn this Atmos off. And, wow, what a really crap place to spawn. I am in a tree. Jesus Christ, what is wrong with these people? Let's see, I can get down. But anyway, to prove that it works, this is a rubber tree. <laughs> oh, God, man, what is with this? God. I can't believe I actually made it down without dying. I'm quite impressed with that. Well, without taking any health damage. Yeah, obviously another way to test that it's all working. Oh, look at that. Oh, look, it's got all of the stuff. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is amazing. Ooh, nuke. What does this button do? I'm not going to do the nuke. It crashes your computer. <laughs> it's that powerful. It even crashes my computer. So anyway, guys. Yes, this is... If I've missed anything, please let me know. I don't think I have. But yeah, this is how you install... Mod packs. Well, the Techic, uh, Techic, the uh, Techie mod packs. Um, yeah, that's how you make the server. That's how you do everything. Obviously, you, I'm hoping you can download some more plugins if you want to make it so it's like um an actual public server. I'm sure you can probably get some more plugins for uh this. It's, it's only a bucket server, I believe. Uh, bucket, bucket, bucket. You a bucket server? Uh, I would just yeah, bucket. So it's only a bucket server, so in theory you could add more more um, stuff into it, like uh, permissions and stuff. So you can make it so people can only do certain things. They could probably make it so they can only use certain mods, so you can't have anyone just planting nukes and going, Oh, what does this button do right in the middle of a town you've just built? And they blow up your town and then you kick them from the server and ban them. But yeah, guys, this is how you install it. If you've got any questions or if I've spoken too fast and you would like to me to re-upload it with me speaking about this fast so you can understand it. Yeah. Um, thank you for watching, guys. Oh, yeah, any questions, just ask them below. And yes, goodbye.